Hey everybody, it's Aquila from a Lefty Knitter Podcast, and this is episode 134. This is a podcast about knitting, crochet, anything crafty to do with the fiber arts, or not even sometimes the fiber arts. Uh, I try to do this a vlog style, and I record through the week when I can, and I smoosh it all together on a Saturday and post it to the YouTubes. So, welcome to any new viewers, welcome back to any continuing returning viewers, and I appreciate you all very much. Thank you for all the kind words in last week's episode. Uh, today is Tuesday, September 28th, 2021. The light is a little weird, it's later in the day, just got home from work. Yeah. Yeah. I did weigh my Musselberg hat and I had 26 grams left. So I feel like that's pretty good. 26 grams is a decent amount of yarn to do something with. I don't know what yet, but it's there. <sighs> Did I mention? No, didn't. Baltimore, husband, daughters, cats, <laughs> all the things. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I've changed my earrings. So I have my ears gauged. You might have seen it, not noticed, not really noticed. They're not like super large gauges, but um, Hazel now realized that I have a stash of different ones. I never, I'm terrible. I don't change my jewelry. I just don't, I just don't. But I used to, and I used to change my plugs all the time, which is the bottom one here. And she's like, mommy, can I pick them? And I was like, yeah. So when I'm looking at myself, it's very odd because the ones I normally wear are just plain, like black with like mar white marble looking. So every time I've looked at myself in the mirror today, I'm like, I thought I lost my earrings because they're, they kind of blend in. There's not a huge contrast in my skin color. Offshoot. Sorry. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I told you guys I was going to cast on that shawl from uh, Finicky Creations called Easy Goes It. Yes, I did cast it on. I am using at Haynes House yarn in the woods colorway. And I don't think this gives away anything from the pattern because it, or is it free? It might be free. I'll correct myself. I am on like the fifth section or something already. So I'm thinking like these last couple sections are going to get pretty big. Because I feel like I haven't gotten very far. <laughs> now I gotta get a progress keeper to put it on there so I can show you guys. Here's the yarn. And here's the project. So it is an asymmetrical shawl. And you cast on here. Wait, is that the front? Is that the back? Let me show you the front. You cast on here. And you knit, 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 and you keep knitting. So I'm here. I'll put a stitch marker or progress keeper on so you guys can keep track. You can make me accountable. That's where I'm at. So I have a lot of yarn left. I'm pretty sure I'm now getting into like meat and potatoes of this project. It is a one skein project. I like it though, isn't it beautiful? That's the back. What am I doing? <laughs> like, wait a minute. There's rows of, like, stockinette in there. All right. So there's that. I haven't cast on anything else new. I've cued a few things and favored a few things. I was watching Echo from the Knitted Bean podcast, and she was wearing a shawl. Oh, one of our other Amazon devices is named Echo. <laughs> okay, 
Also, if you don't watch her podcast, it'll be linked down below. Go watch. She's trying to get to 100 subscribers and she's going to do a giveaway. I have already queued and favorited, I think, like three or four projects that she's made. So I have really enjoyed that. She also likes fandom stuff, if you're into that kind of thing. And she has a very good energy and I like watching her. So She was wearing a shawl. Can't remember what it was called. I'll put it here. It was really neat. I think it uses like short rows to create this like woo type shape in it and you can use like scraps or minis and I just thought it was really interesting so I put it in my favorites I, it'll be I'll, you know I insert pictures I do the thing all right another podcast Hannah hi Hannah she hosts the and I always try to say it too fast and then I really botch up the name. The Cozy Cottage Crochet. Say that three times fast. I want a giveaway. It was so exciting. So I don't remember what I had to say or do to enter, but I won. And oh my gosh, this package. So Hannah gets a lot of great things donated to her podcast for giveaways. So if you don't watch her, she also designs crochet patterns. So yeah, I love watching both because I feel like there's totally a place in the world for crochet and knitting. Some people like for certain things, I, I enjoy crochet for certain things over knitting. I won, look at this. Okay, first off, I love these lotions. If you've never had hemp's lotions before, never had this smell, blushing grapefruit and raspberry cream. Ooh, that smells yummy. That's, that's, that's nice. They make like just a plain one that smells really, really great. Also, before I show you the yarn, I got some tea. Love some tea. I have a little stash that I have. Look how cute these little markers are. You see them? They're like little beads. They kind of look like fringe. And I think that's really cute. And they're on this big um, clasp. Can't think of what they're called. My brain's not working today. Yeah, that was that was really cute. These were really cute. Um, didn't have like a maker, so I don't know who that was made by. And this didn't have a tag. And I don't think it's the same yarn, but this is a beautiful set. These are all the same. So these are all Vita Lana by Knit Crate, ambient worsted yarns. And it is 100% Peruvian Highland wool, worsted weight, 100 yards. And all three of these are those yarns, is that yarn. And this looks like a worsted weight, I just don't think it's the same base. It looks a little more fuzzy. I could be completely wrong, but this is beautiful. This was probably donated to her for giveaways. She has lovely people that donate things for her podcast. And I know she's very grateful for that. Um, and she is very generous in spreading the love. Look at this. I don't know what I want to make with it. Worsted weight. I mean, this could be a really beautiful color work hat. Tin Can Knits has a lot of like really great patterns I like. And I could probably adapt it into a nice hat. It's beautiful. Thank you, Hannah. So another one. Go check her out. I put all my links down below. If there's something I don't put a link to or you or, I, you know, whatever, please comment. Please ask. I will look it up. So, all right. I don't know when I'll record again. Work gets in the way. Just saying. <laughs> I just want to knit. All right. Until the next clip. Bye, y'all. Hey, everybody. It's Thursday, and it's September 30th. I'm wearing my A Wool Gathering shirt. But I heard this interesting fact on the radio this morning, and I had to talk about it because... It related to podcasting. 
Today is International Podcasting Day. Podcasters Day? Either way, today is the day we celebrate our podcasters. So, I would like you guys to share your wealth of knowledge and in the comments, put a few of your favorite podcasters. Um, it doesn't even have to be knitting related. It could be other podcasts that you enjoy listening to because I don't listen to just, um, I don't watch or listen to because I do listen to just audio ones, knitting stuff or crafting. I really enjoy a podcast that is called Cocaine and Rhinestones and it's by Tyler Mayhan Co, who is David Allen Co's son. So he does a podcast that relates to um, older country music, not the pop music that we're hearing today, like older stuff. Really interesting. Um, this is season two right now and season one, I think my favorite episode was about Tom T. Hall. Um, so if you, if you enjoy anything that's like music related and how like certain music artist came to be or anything that has to do, it deals with a lot of record label stuff. So that's really interesting. Totally up to you if you want to give it a go. I really enjoy it. I, during lockdown sickness time, I didn't get to listen to much podcast. I would log into work and I was like focused into work and I just kind of had my knitting stuff in the background. But while I'm driving, I really do enjoy listening to um, audio podcast. Another one that I really enjoy listening to and I, I really want to get back into it is um, Ologies. It's called Ologies and I can't remember the girl's name. But Maria from Ninja Chickens talked about it probably at least a few years ago on her podcast and I started listening to it and I, I'm usually I like to listen to everything in order right but on this one I was like picking ones that really piqued my interest so it's all about different like ologies like the you you you've heard like sociology and psychology but there's ologies about everything there's uh experts on clouds there's experts on bats there's experts on trees and she interviews these people super interesting so another one that i i used to listen to like faithfully and i, I fell off the bandwagon with that was armchair expert i really enjoyed that that is with dax shepherd and I cannot think of the girl's name, but I like that one. Um, the other big ones that I think people listen to are the murder podcast. What, uh, what's the girl, the one with the two girls? You'll, you're screaming it at me right now. I've listened to that one. There's so many podcasts out there. So happy podcasters day. But the fact that I didn't even talk about it. So the fact that they talked about on the radio and then I had to come home and then I had to look it up because I was like, are they really telling the truth? It has been proven and tested and all the things that if you are listening to a podcast, even music or a TV show or a book on tape and you are focused on it, not distracted by your phone, and you are listening with someone else that your heartbeats will sync up. I was like, really? And it's true. And they tested this amongst people in the same room and their heartbeats would sync up. They tested it amongst people that lived across the country. They both were listening to the same podcast. So it's something to do with listening and focusing on the podcast and it synced up. And I just thought that was super interesting. So there's my fact of the day. List some of your favorite podcasts down below, whether they're video or audio. Um, I think other people would enjoy seeing what other, like getting recommendations, right? I like getting recommendations. I like giving recommendations. And if it doesn't suit your fancy, 
you don't have to listen to it or watch it ever again. It's, isn't that what this is all about? So I did make a quick reel this morning and I posted it, but I don't know. I wish I would have known that it was International Podcasters Day because I would have maybe went back and got clips from through my through the years because my anniversary is coming up for podcasting. I started by doing a vlog about the alpaca festival, which comes up here. It's held at the same place as Maryland Sheep and Wool, and it's in November. So it's always chilly. You always get to wear your hand knits. It's not as big, obviously, but that was my first vlog. And I'm just grateful I just did it. I did it. Got to meet amazing people, whether I've just met you online or in person. It's been amazing. And so happy International Podcasters Day. And yeah, I just had to say that. I know this ha has no knitting content right now. Um, I made a little bit of progress on my, my shawl, but I'll just show you that in the last clip because I want to have as much progress as possible because it's the only thing I've worked on. <laughs> so, all right, until the next clip, I hope everybody's well and yeah, happy Thursday. Well, or whatever day you're watching this. <laughs> Let's round up this video. I don't even know today's date. I think it's October 2nd and I'm crooked. Sorry. <laughs> I did block my Musselberg hat. It is totally blocked now. Did I show that? Now I'm having, I can cut this out. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I had 26 grams left. So yeah, I think I said that already. I think I totally said that already. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. All right. So I am working on the Easy Goes It Shawl by Finicky Creations, I believe. And I am using At Haynes House Yarns, and it's the Woods Colorway at Haynes House. And I've made good progress. I don't know exactly which section I am on, but I think I'm on uh, G, maybe? And this is the front side. This is how, this is where I started, and you, it's asymmetric, so it goes kind of like this. Last time you saw it, I was at where that skull stitch marker is. So from there, I've done all of this. I'm at, I'm over a hundred stitches now and it's getting pretty big. So I was a little nervous about how big it was, but it's, it's getting there. So I love the different textures that are in it. So you have a little bit of stockinette sections here you see that that like ridge and then you have a little bit of lace here and then i did a little bit more of that stockinette here it's great it's great so i received those pumpkins from andrea if you remember that she made on her addy machine well totally biting off of her and i'm making some thanks andrea uh, so I made some pumpkins and three, I'm doing them in sets of three. Um, this set of three is for my oldest daughter. I think that she'll appreciate them. She likes fall and she likes Halloween. So, uh, her birthday falls in October. So her birthday's coming and it's a set of three pumpkins. And yes, I know, I did little black pumpkins, but look how cute it is. Little black pumpkins. And then, so this one is another little black pumpkin. It's hard to probably see that it has the shape. Can you see that it has the shape? There you go. They could probably be a little bit taller in all honesty, or like maybe I can squish it like that. Now it's a little more plump. And then a green one. 
because I didn't want to make her an orange one. I thought she would appreciate, she likes like army green as a color in general. So yeah, that one's got a big butt. <laughs> so I made these three and I now am working on a second set for my neighbor, Miss Mo. And I made her this cute little green one. This one I did six ridges. I was doing five on all the others, but at some point I had one section that was like a little weird and extra bulbous. So I just put another section in it. And then this leaf, I did a little different crochet, leaf, stem, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I know you can put real stems in, but I'm not doing that. The other two have to be completed. And I'm going more with a modern color palette for Miss Mo. I was going to make this one gray, um, but I decided to go against that and I went because I, the other two are white. So here's what it looks like not done. It's just the tube and it stretches out. So you gotta like stretch it out. If you've used a circular sock machine like this. Um, so you stretch it out, you pull these two ends in tight, you tuck it inside itself like this, and then you, it's hard to explain. Well, let me just kind of show you. So you take the one side and you tuck it in. So, so both of your ends are at one side. It's not going to be the greatest way to show you, but so now that you have your two ends at the top, you pull them tight. So imagine that's all gathered real, real tight. And then one of your strings from below, you pick up and go all the way around and you, before you pull it tight, you stuff it, you pull it tight. And then you take your strands and you go from the under to the top. So you take a strand and you go around and then you go up through there and pull it up and pull it real tight. And then you move it and you do the next section. So I have two and one's going to be a mini white one and one is a bigger white one and they will have um, this color green stems. So I thought that was a little more like modern looking and I like that idea. Uh, so yeah, I think they'll be, that'll be a super cute set. I thought the gray would have been really pretty too, two white ones and gray, because I think that's kind of like real modern looking in general. Maybe I'm using modern in the wrong, I don't know. I'm not an interior designer. I'm just a lady who likes yarn. All right, so other than that, we tried introducing Haze to Little Shop of Horrors. Too much singing, mommy. Like every Disney song has, movie has a ton of songs, but this had too much singing. And I'm watching it and the little doo-wop ladies, cause there's three of them. I did not, I, I recognized the one and I was like, that is totally the girl from, oh my God, what's that show? Martin. One is Martin's wife. If you remember the show Martin. Martin you know, it's like in the nineties, whatever his wife or his girlfriend. I don't know if they were married. I can't remember. Well, the other lady looked really familiar too. the second of the three. So I had to look her up because I had to know, well, it was Pam, her best friend in Martin. And I was like, that's too funny. That's so funny. Like, and now watching it now as an adult, I can't remember if I actually ever watched it all the way through as a child or younger. There are so many people in it that are like really famous. So as we're watching it, she went away, John and I finished it. And I was like, you know what she would probably really like? And so we bought it. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the kids. That's a good classic. So we bought that for her to watch. Um, we were trying to watch like all kinds of Halloween stuff. Um, I'm sure we'll end up watching Beetlejuice and we'll end up watching Halloween Town. And we started watching Hocus Pocus the other night because she loves, um, she loves the young witch with the white hair. Sarah. So, yeah, that's where we are. But, yeah, doing Vlogtober. It's going. Our internet went out this morning. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I think we're going to be all right. And then we're going to have a shop update. So check our Instagrams for 
dates and times because I don't know when that'll be, but John's been working his butt off in the other room, getting it ready, uh, labeling and all that jazz. So yeah, so keep a lookout for that too. And uh, yeah, until the next episode, I hope everybody's well. Take care of yourselves and each other and knit happy. Bye.